Cozumel, one of the biggest Mexican islands, have been a popular vacation spot for decades due to its stunning natural scenery, pristine beaches, and the surreal underwater landscape you see while diving and snorkeling in the Caribbean Sea nearby. Visitors to the island may go scuba diving, snorkeling, or swimming with dolphins, and they can also learn about ancient Mayan civilization and an archaeological site. Today, we have 10 unforgettable memories to create on this Mexican paradise island. Number 1. Pay a visit to the ecological park at Punta Sur One of the finest things to do in Cozumel is to check out Punta Sur Eco Beach, an ecological park with some of the nicest beaches in the area. 2,500 acres make up this region on the island's southern edge. For those who appreciate nature's finer things, this is the ideal destination since it is home to a wide variety of exotic birds, crocodiles, sea turtles, flowers, and beaches. The Celerine Lighthouse, located in Punta Sur Eco Park, was built to walk nighttime marinas of the dangers of going aground off the southern shore of Cozumel. The lighthouse has been preserved and is currently a component of a marine museum. Punta Sur Ecological Park also offers a 40-minute tour of its wetlands. While they can't promise to show you any crocodiles, they can ensure that you'll see plenty of birds, including the beautiful roseate spoonbill. Number 2. Snorkeling and lunch on a private jeep tour A private jeep tour that includes lunch and the option to go snorkeling is one of the top things to do in Cozumel. Your private guide on this trip will be familiar with the ideal places to swim and snorkel away from the masses. The flexibility of this Cozumel trip is its greatest asset. If you tell your guide in advance exactly what you want to see in Cozumel, he can tailor your trip to your interests. This all-terrain vehicle tour of the Cozumel rainforests will take you off the beach path. Just follow your guide into the forest and you'll soon arrive at the soothing waters of the Jade Cenote. Relax at a beach club and enjoy open bar service, lunch, and boat-based snorkeling before calling it a day. Enjoy a variety of water activities in a single day with this trip that takes care of all the details. Number 3. Visit the Cozumel Pearl Farm Cozumel Pearl Farm is a family-run business that offers a one-of-a-kind experience, a boat ride to a remote beach where you can learn about the island's pearl industry, beginning with a presentation and demonstration of pearl growing methods. The incubator has snorkeling opportunities where visitors may see the pearl growing process, get insight into the reef ecosystem, and marvel at a life-size statue of the Virgin of Guadalupe that has been submerged in the incubator's artificial lagoon. Spend the remainder of your time swimming in the warm waters or relaxing in one of the numerous hammocks while you eat lunch. Number 4. El Mirador El Mirador is located on the eastern side of Cozumel, about 30 minutes from downtown. You may take a private taxi, rent a car, or hire a moped to get here. The art in the rocks that the sea has carved out is a beautiful natural feature. Once you get to the top, the views will blow your mind. You've come to the perfect place if you're looking for a refuge from the bustling crowds. El Mirador is a great spot to visit if you're looking for some relaxing time in Cozumel. Number 5. Get your beach club on Although Playa Chonrio is on the east coast, several beach clubs and bars can be found on the west. You may rent kayaks, sunbathe on sunbeds, and enjoy the beach club on these tranquil, turquoise shores, all serviced by a variety of nearby pubs and nightclubs. The Yuvas Beach Club charges $15 to enter, but the money bar provides free lounge chairs and umbrellas with a minimum purchase. It costs $10 to reserve seats and an umbrella at Bucanos, but that cost is deducted from your total. Number 6. Get out the airport and into Cozumel's capital city of San Miguel One of the nicest things to do in San Miguel is to stroll along the seawall promenade at sunset, given the city is situated on the west coast. While the walkway is crowded with cruise ship passengers during the day, when the ships are gone, it is rather quiet. San Miguel's Central Park, or Zucalo, is like those in all other Mexican cities and towns. A lot of locals like to congregate there, and it's also a nice area to relax. Many free activities take place in the Zucalo of Cozumel every Sunday night beginning at 8 p.m. Number 7. Explore Cozumel on two wheels The island is 48 kilometers in length and 16 kilometers in width, but the northern section is inaccessible by standard means of transportation. As a result, the best route is to leave from the heart of San Miguel and follow the 20 kilometers of Caribbean coastline southwards to the point. The best thing they've done is designate a lane for cyclists that automobiles and at least initially scooters aren't permitted to cross. This is fantastic since it allows you to relax and take in the breathtaking view without worrying about being in danger from incoming traffic. Number 8. Visit Isla de la Pasión 
Isla de la Pasión is a must for adventurers who don't mind being bitten badly by sand flies. The northernmost point of the island's west coast is isolated from the rest of the island by a wall of dense mangroves. To reach the hotels of Cozumel's western shore, either drive or take a taxi to the end of the road. You'll find fishermen and their boats waiting to ferry you across Laguna Siga to a beautiful white sand beach and clear blue seas. The setting is picturesque and it is typically empty. Swimming out further you may be able to make out some marine life despite the water's perpetual haze. That being said, don't forget your snorkel gear. However, the sand flies are the worst issue. Many people report to getting a few minor bites, but many were devoured alive. Even though you could be okay, I thought I warned you nonetheless. Isla de la Pasión is accessible only by boat from the major Mexican Caribbean resort cities of Cancun, Cozumel, and Playa del Carmen. Traveling to nearby Cozumel is the most viable option. Number 9. Tour of Ancient Ruins and an ATV Ride A three-hour ATV tour through the forest, which includes a stop at the island's lone cenote, is one of the most exciting activities. Again, our top choice among the several tour agencies offering ATV excursions on Kazumel is Kazumel for local tours. There are hundreds of people who have booked this specific ATV and cenote trip because of the fantastic scenery and unique experiences it provides. On the trail, they will give you the keys to your very own ATV and give you a crash course and how to use it. Soon after that, you're a tour guide and you will be tearing through the jungle on big ATVs, generating a cloud of dust as you navigate some tough terrain. After a half hour's ride, you'll reach the train's terminus, which also happens to be the cenote's entrance. After your ATV ride, you can go ahead and explore the immense ruins at Tulum. Tulum, one of the most well-known ruins in Mexico, is a fantastic introduction to the Riviera Maya. The ruins of Tulum are situated in a very unusual place for an ancient Maya city on a steep cliff overlooking the turquoise seas of the Caribbean. Well, there is evidence of human habitation in the area as early as 564 CE, the the city of Tulum did not reach its full potential as a Maya metropolis until the 1200s. Despite this, it has survived and maintained its original grid-like layout, main structures, and a strong sense of history in every corner. Number 10. Do a Tamascal in Cozumel One of the most popular activities in both Cancun and Cozumel is participating in a Tamascal, an ancient Mayan ceremonial. A shaman awaits you inside a brick hut that is heated like a sauna thanks to the use of volcanic rocks. The Tamascal ritual cleanses, calms, and rejuvenates the body. The trip concludes with a refreshing dip in a local cenote. Do not miss this opportunity to participate in what promises to be a significant occasion. Regarding tourist attractions, this this is up there among the more unusual ones in Kazumel. Which activity would you like to take on first? Tell us in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos like this.